Thanks for joining us for Religious Hard Talk. I'm Ian Boyne. Today we look at an Hebrew Israelite group, Israel united in Christ. The Hebrew Israelites believe that black people and Hispanics, at least some persons of African descent and some Hispanics, are the real Israelites. The Israelites are not the people in the Middle East. The Israelites are not the Jews. It is us black people, at least, uh, large segments of us, the people of African descent, who are the true Israelites. And this group believes that it can prove this from the Bible. There are a number of groups in the Hebrew Israelite um, movement and there are some doctrines that the group has which are quite obnoxious, quite repugnant, in fact racist. And some might even wonder why, why do we feature groups like these with outlandish and atrocious claims? Because in a democratic society, we must not be afraid of, of ideas. And we must not censor speech. What we should have, as has been expressed famously, is more, better speech. And we must contend with ideas. So we expose you to the Hebrew Israelites. You would, you would see them in, in some places in Jamaica on the streets preaching. If you go on YouTube, of course, uh, there, there are many, many videos with these um, guys dressed in a peculiar uh, kind of way. Uh, talking about black people, talking about black history, talking about the importance of knowing black history, talking about blacks in the Bible, attacking uh, Christianity, attacking other uh, religions. Well, today we engage these Hebrew Israelites, members of the group calling itself Israel United in Christ. We have with us Aiton Israel. Uh, beside him, Isaac Israel, and then the founder of the group Israel United in Christ, Nathaniel Ben Israel. Gentlemen, good to, good to have you on the show. Good to be back with you again, oh, Bishop. Yes, sir. Yes, this sir. is Bishop. Let me give him his, his title. Um, <laughs> Bishop. Yes, sir. A warm personality, despite the, the offensiveness of some of his, his, his doctrines. His personality is one that is quite um, convivial. They believe that white people are the Edomites and that they won't be saved. That the whites will not be saved. Now, don't turn off your, your, your TV um, here at this uh, point. Uh, listen them out. The, the ideas might be absurd, you say, but listen the, the, them out. You might have a need to refute their ideas. So at least... Listen them out. Expand your, your, your knowledge of comparative religions. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, good, sir. Good, good to have you. you. You came from abroad to do this um, show. We have been working on it for some uh, time. I couldn't escape you. Yes. And, um, and, and, and I, do it, I do it willingly because I believe that ideas must contain and I believe in freedom of, um, of, of speech. And I think that... Uh, that we should tolerate offensive ideas. I think that at the heart of democracy. That's the democratic that way. This is the democratic way. Democratic. Well, you say democratic, but <laughs> you, 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 hap you happen to benefit, uh -huh. benefit from that. Oh, praise God. Yeah, you, you and the Muslims don't, uh, under your societies, mm. you would not allow the freedom that you use today to propagate your views. You, but, you mean transgender freedom? Is that what you're talking well, about? Well, yes. No. Freedom. freedom. Well, we don't use those uh, words here. What's the word then? Give me the word. We don't use... Um, Give me the correct word. Well, you know, people, lesbian, gay, bisexual... Sodomites. Transject, well, you, you know, <laughs> that, that is used. Okay. Um, you have such a strong opposition to, to people with same-sex orientation. Well, not me. God. Yes. Repentance is open to everyone. And you said something earlier about the deplorable, despicable... Doctrine. Doctrine. Yes. What is more despicable, more deplorable than Christianity? Christianity, which has enslaved your ancestors and mine, mm -hmm. our ancestors. Yes. Christianity, for example, Thomas Thistlewood, slave owner here in Jamaica, who would defecate in the mouths of slaves and stitch their mouths closed. 
for hours. What is more despicable than Christian white man? Nothing. What is more despicable than these people, Christians, giving you a white image of Jesus, which is not found in the Bible? What's more despicable than that? Lie after lie after lie. You hate, you hate white supremacy as do I. Yet many of our people who claim to hate white supremacy will run December 25th, pray to the white man, glorify the white man, and call it the birth of Jesus, which is not found in the biblical text. That's despicable. That's deplorable. That's an abomination. And a black church is the right arm of white supremacy. Explain that, Nathaniel. Meaning? How so? How, How is so? the black church complicit in white supremacy? Okay. The white man, Britain, for example, they're not uh, here in the island for say, but the black church is here. The white man would not leave, according to Deuteronomy 28, verse 48, until we were mentally totally destroyed in our mind. Can we read that? Yes. Let me show you this. Because this demon... Edomite, when you read about Esau, the father of the Edomites, that's all Caucasians. He would not leave Jamaica until he knew you Jamaicans were totally destroyed in your minds. Now the, the black church is his right arm. They will teach white man Jesus, white man lies, and take your money, your resources, and smile in your face and say hallelujah. <laughs> read that for me. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemy. Your enemy is the white man, read. Which the Lord shall send against thee uh -huh. in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness. Meaning food, clothing, water. Go ahead. And in want of all things. If you want anything, you got to serve your enemies, read. And he, your enemy, shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. That happened historically. Until. See that word until? He have destroyed thee. So the yokes are off now. Why did Britain take the yokes off? Because our people are totally destroyed mentally. We are his watchdogs now. The black woman will cuss you in the street if you, we have had teaching lessons, stepping on the white image of Jesus, and the black woman want to fight us and smack us in the face. Why you don't step on my savior? Yes. Are you crazy, black woman? And a black man supports that foolishness. This is why your black families are broken up, because of white supremacy, white lies. White man lies, right? You understand that, Mr. Ike? Oh, Mr. Boyd. <laughs> so, the, so the black church, by uh, teaching a Christianity that came out of slavery, mm. is, is furthering the cause yeah. of racism. So That's you're saying that right. here am I accusing you of racism. Yes. And yet it, it's, it would seem acceptable to me, it would seem normal and mainstream for the churches to be teaching white supremacy. Right. But they do it under a guise. Mm -hmm. That's right. And it is sanitized. Uh -huh. And I don't find a problem with it. And most of my viewers don't find a problem with it. But we are, we are repulsed. That's right. By your teaching. Because. So that's a part of the brainwashing. Yes. Until we are destroyed. We are totally destroyed. We have turned good into evil and evil mm -hmm. into good. That's the, this is why our families are, are broken up. This is why there's no true family unit amongst black people. This is why you have, I don't know if you can say this word. No, my don't use in a word that is. Uh, let me think. Uh, objection. You, what you, is the word? Like is that okay? No, it's not okay. No, I'm it's sorry. Anyway, I'm yeah. just. Philander Roman. Philander. Promiscuous people. Promiscuous yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. Uh, carnival, a filthy holiday of Bacchus Bacchanal. Yeah, yeah, That's carnival. a pagan demonic holiday where black Christian women will dagger in the street, get pregnant from one man, yeah. run to her husband, and have a baby nine months later. And say thank you, Jesus. Yeah, again, it's kind of, What's yeah. going on here? Mm, mm. And a white man allowed that in slavery. Mm. He allowed us to have little days of celebration. Yes. All evil, all evil. So that the American, the, the rap music that is just showing women yes. displaying booty and yes. so on. That's all a part of the enslavement. Yes, yes. You know, young Jamaican. Take the break okay. at this um, point. These guys are fiery. They are strident. They are on religious hard talk. We take our first break. We have a group that says that black people, Hispanics, are the real Israelites. The Jews are not the real Israelites. We have been duped on that. We are the real Israelites. Our identity has been stolen from us. We, in fact, lost our identity because of sin, because we transgressed against the laws of the, the Old Testament, you know, Sabbath, 
fees is, circumcision. You have all of these groups that, 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 that keep going back to the Old Testament, <laughs> that keep going back to, to these practices which have been discarded by uh, Christianity. So we have uh, three men here from the group Israel United in Christ and the uh, founder and uh, leading uh, bishop of the group, Nathaniel Israel, was uh, just speaking on how the black church is a part of the conspiracy to keep down black people. What are some of the doctrines of Christianity okay. that most offend you, that, that you think are just so thoroughly unbiblical? Okay. Uh, it's not so much that it, it offends me. It offends God. God. Yes. Um, Christmas, the white image Christmas. of Jesus, yes. which cannot be substantiated. Okay, so you don't keep Christmas. You don't keep Easter. Right. And again, we've gone here in Jamaica. We openly challenge your black ministers. Yes. Challenge, we challenge them to prove Christmas From is the sanctified. Oh. They can't do it. You know, it's sort of uh, tithe. Tithing is tithing. another one. It is a form of white supremacy. It was you're you, a Old Testament man, or you, or you don't believe in tithing. No, tithing was always of crops yeah. and corns and wines. It was never money, your income. It was not that. Mm -hmm. This is why, give me Acts 4.34. This is the, I'm going to show you that your black churches, no church is following the Bible at all. Oh. They, they keep black people poor, as a matter of fact. Well, they keep the, yes, oh, one, yeah. These that. black preachers will ride around in Mercedes Benz. <laughs> I don't know what kind of BMW. car you drive. BMW. Yeah, BMW. And the yeah. average black will ride the bus, ride walk. The bus. Yes, yes. Watch this. <laughs> the book of Acts, chapter 4, verse 34. Mm -hmm. Neither was there any among them that lacked, mm -hmm. for as many as were possessors of lands or houses sold them and brought the prices of the things that were sold and laid them down at the apostles' feet. And distribution was made unto every man according as he had need. Does the black church do that? <laughs> does the white church do that? <laughs> Nobody does that. Oh. It, they, they have manipulated the word of God and kept our people poor. I have met black mothers who will get have their last welfare check send and send it out to the... Yeah, yeah. yeah. A seed, sow the seed of faith <laughs> and be broke, can't pay her rent. Yes. I'm like, are you crazy? Yeah. But white supremacy Christianity, mm -hmm. that abominable religion, has destroyed our people's minds. That's what we read in Deuteronomy 28, 48, oh. until we have been destroyed. Oh. We are mentally destroyed now. Mentally destroyed. Yes, totally. Mm. 100%. So tied in your opposed to that. Yes. 10%. 10, That's a racket. You're supposed to give as you, as you are able. And then the mm. church's job is to make sure that its uh, congregants are provided for. Oh. That's what it is. That's the job. That's what Peter and them did. Oh. They made sure Israel didn't suffer. That's what we do. That's what we must do. If we all did that, there would not be a poor person in Jamaica. Mm. There should not be one homeless man out Shouldn't there. Be. Should not be. If the church did, according as we just read. And, and we are said to have more churches per square mile than any other country in the world. Churches are big so we shouldn't have So we shouldn't have the kind of poverty. That's right. And but these churches live fat. The churches live fat. They live fat. Very wealthy, many of them. They want to be mega churches. But th this Bible, as the truth comes out, is going to disband all these lies. And those, our people, will come out and come together as the 12 tribes of Israel. It's prophecy. You believe that the Caucasians are Edomites? Yes. How, how do you prove that? How oh, do you... thank you, thank you. Can okay. we get that for us? Genesis 25, 25. And I'm going to show you that the Caucasian man, who is the biblical devil on earth, he has stolen our land, our nationality, our homeland. He is an imposter, the Bible speaks of. We can prove it all. Come on. The book of Genesis, chapter 25, verse 25. And the first came out red all over like in hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. The white man, who we call white, he's not really white, because your paper here is white. There's nobody on earth that's white. Mm -hmm. The blood shows through this man's skin. That's why it says he came out red. The blood shows from his head to his toes. You understand that? His name was called Esau. You're familiar with that, mm -hmm. right? So now, watch this. Jump, jump ahead. Give me a, a Ezekiel. 36. I'm just hitting key points. Now I'm going to show you what Esau did. There's many things we can show you, okay? Uh, Ezekiel 36 and 5. Come on. Ezekiel 36 and verse 5. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, surely in the fire of my jealousy 
have I spoken against the residue of the heathen and against all Idumia? Idumia is a Greek word for Edom. It's talking about the Edomites. What did they do? Which have appointed my land into their possession with the joy of all their heart, with despiteful minds to cast it out for a prey. They have appointed God's land into their possession. You understand that? They are in the land of Israel today claiming to be the Israelis. That's what they have done. This, I didn't write this. This was written thousands upon thousands of years ago. Mm -hmm. God prophesied Idumia, which are the Edomites, would take the land, appoint it to themselves. So now, watch this. I got some more for you. Give me Obadiah, one through four. The Bible is our history book. The Bible is our photo album. Our mothers and fathers can be found here mm -hmm. if we open our eyes and relinquish ourselves from white supremacy. Christianity I'm talking about. Come on. The book of Obadiah. One through four. The vision of Obadiah, thus saith the Lord God, concerning Edom. Concerning Edom, which means red. We have heard a rumor from the Lord, and an ambassador sent among the heathen. Arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. Come on. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Here it comes. Thou art greatly despised. The Edomites, the Caucasian race, is greatly despised. Come the on. pride of thine heart hath deceived thee. They are prideful people. Thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock. That's what Caucasian means, cave dweller. Come on. Whose habitation is high, uh -huh. that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to how, the ground? How could the Edomites ask, who shall bring me down to the ground? They have missile technology. Come on. Though thou exalt thyself, as the eagle. What's the symbol of America? The eagle. What's the symbol of Spain? It was the eagle. Greece, the eagle. Watch this. And though thou set thy nest among the stars. Who's doing space travel? Who set their mess, a nest among the stars in 1969? Do you know who did that? And said the eagle has landed? You remember that history? <laughs> this is your Caucasian so man. Your white man. And all of that was predicted in the Bible Prophesied thousands the Bible. of years ago. Thousands of years ago. ago. Yes. So this lets us know the white man is Edom, okay? He's the race God hates forever. God hates? God hates. Are you, I, yes. Are you saying a blasphemous thing mm. like that? Mm. Can we get God Malachi? Hates. Watch this. Wait, wait. No, you're let's get New Testament. You're going to go in New Testament now. Let's let's go go in, New, give me New Testament. Yeah, yeah, yeah so you're going to show me now. You're going to pull... You're going to pull Romans 9. Oh, so you already know? Yeah. Wait, gonna pull. so wait a minute. Where did Paul get that quote from? Yeah. Where did he get a quote from? No, it, it, it's, it's in scripture. Yeah. Yeah, but, but how is it used? Anyway, I'm, I'm not debating. It's okay. I, I'm not debating this time, but I, I want to demonstrate to people that there are texts that can be used for any number of purposes, mm -hmm. including the justification of hate. Okay. So... You, you are demonstrating okay. that. Well, I'm going to show you now. All right, go on. Get Malachi. Get Malachi. Yes, yes. Since he knows Romans 9, right. here's where the original quote All came right. from. Because remember, the New Testament was not written when the apostles were walking the earth. Uh, when Christ was walking the earth, I word it mm -hmm. that way. Mm -hmm. They got everything from the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. Come on, Malachi 1 verse 4. Malachi 1 verse 4. Whereas Edom saith. Edom, so-called white people mm -hmm. again. We are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Uh, Renaissance era, which was around 1453. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness. And the people... Did it say person as in Esau? The people... Meaning plural. Against whom the Lord hath indignation forever. For how long? Forever. Mm, so did you see that? This is not... I didn't write this. Yeah, but forever doesn't always mean... What does it mean? Endless. It mean, oh, not always. The Hebrew Olam doesn't always mean endless. In this endless. context, it does. It, it, because, it, for example, the Bible talks about um, Sodom mm -hmm. suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Uh -huh. It is no, lo no longer in existence. Mm -hmm. There were certain things that should be done in the temple that were said to be forever. They are no longer forever. I say, I'm not debating, you know. But there's at times, if, if there are certain egregious okay. errors, I might point them out. Let's but, see about these So forever doesn't mean, forever doesn't always mean um, um, forever because... You, you're right. You're, you would have right. to justify. Mm -hmm. You would have to justify in in, in 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 scripture. Where is it that God gave a decree that some people are excluded from salvation? Okay. I got if it. Jesus Christ was sent, uh -huh. and John three sixteen says, <laughs> "For God so loved," you're glad for that. You're anticipating that. Oh, yes. You have ready answers yes. for that. God yes. so loved the world, He yes. gave His only begotten Son. Mm -hmm. That whosoever believes in him, whether an Edomite, whether a white man, mm -hmm. a Chinese man, whatever, 
Whoever believes in him should not perish, but should have everlasting life. Okay. Peter says that God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come. Well, let's see how long. Let's see about this. Come, let me show you. Give me over So don't use the, for, the forever I'm argument gonna, again, because gonna, forever doesn't I, yes, always does. mean. When it comes to Edom, Esau, sometimes it means, it means forever. age lasting. I'm going to prove it right now. There we go on, go on. Obadiah verse 18. Obadiah. Here's the outcome of mm -hmm. Esau, mm -hmm. your friend and mine. Go ahead. The yeah. book of Obadiah in verse 18. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord hath spoken it. So they're all going to be destroyed. So that forever means forever. No. Yeah. Your, your, remember, you have yet to prove, right? I said this is not a debate, but you have yet to prove uh -huh. that the Caucasians are the Edomites. Oh, I did prove it. The other, the, 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 whether you accept no, it or not, the is other, story. the other point is that the Obadiah text uh -huh. cannot be used to show an obliteration of the Edomites for all times. Wait in, in other words, no. In other words, there, we there, there, there were nations mm -hmm. that were destroyed. That are um, that we read about like in the in the Canaanites. Oh, get, there are various sure groups Ecclesiastes that were that four, that were destroyed. I mean. But there is nothing that suggests that those persons will not come back oh, I got in the, a resurrection. I got the answer for all that you in just a resurrection. Said. Now to have that. their chance at spiritual salvation. There's one thing to obliterate a nation mm -hmm. within history to obliterate a nation physically, and another thing, to cut off the opportunity for spiritual salvation. Now all this So in proving, so in proving mm -hmm. that nations mm -hmm. have been brought to destruction historically uh -huh. is not to prove that they have not been offered an opportunity salvifically. So now, but I, let's read on. And I'm let's not continue. even debating. Yeah, and, and you know, but, you know yeah. one thing you did? You did not use any scripture, just clever talk. Yeah. Right. talk. <laughs> Come on. Verse 19. Wait, first, give me that Ecclesiastes. Yeah. You know what I want to read yep. Ecclesiastes 4, verse 16. There is no end of all the people. So to say nations were destroyed is wrong. It's erroneous. The Bible says there's no end of all the people. But wait, 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 wait. Let me finish now. Even, now let's go back. Go ahead. Even of all them that have been before them. You know why you think they've been destroyed? Because your friend, the white man, has cleverly it's changed the, the nationalities man. of the people. For example, watch this. The nation the of Edom. were moved they were, out, of their, out of their, out of their By who? By who? According to scripture. Days. Israel, according to the scripture. According to scripture, what did Esau do? When Israel was, when Israel uh -huh. left Egypt and was supposed to possess a certain land, yeah. weren't there people living in that land? Yes, they weren't. And what to be should there. and and what what it God decreed? Land. Yeah, what God decreed? Should yeah, he to said them. move them out. All right. Now watch. So this. you mean that God so, doesn't wait, move wait, wait, wait. people from? So now we're talking about the white man now. The white man changed. You're fixated all, on the white example, man because example, of your race. What's your nationality? Hmm? What's your nationality? I'm Jamaican. You want to laugh? That's my nationality. <laughs> you know that was made up by the white yeah, man. Yeah, we and put that on you. Yes. Watch this. Come on. Verse 19. Yes. And they of the my South. Ethnicity, I'm, I'm, I'm an African. But okay. my nationality. There's, there's, there's over 3,000 tribes in Africa. Which one? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm an African. African. I'm, yeah, an African. African. No, I'm an African. I'm an African. Come on. And they of the South shall possess the Mount of Esau. And they of the Plain the Philistines, and they shall possess the fields of Ephraim and the mm -hmm. fields of Samaria, and Benjamin shall possess Gilead. Mm -hmm. And the captivity of this host of the children of Israel shall possess that of the Canaanites, mm -hmm. even unto Zarephath, and that and the captivity of Jerusalem, which is in Sephrad. So you notice he's mentioning a lot of nations. Yes. They have not been destroyed. No. The only nation that's destroyed when you read the book of Obadiah is Edom, Esau. That's it. Mm -hmm. That it, get the Bible dictionary. I'm gonna it's, take I'm gonna take a break at this uh, point. I told this would be an interesting program. Stay with us. Stay with us. I I, I know some of you are are, are annoyed, but uh, don't be annoyed. Stay, 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 stay with us. This is religious. I talk. <laughs> Israel united in Christ is what they call themselves. But when you listen to what they are saying, or at least what Bishop 
is saying, the others have just been, been, been reading from the, the scriptures. When you listen to what they are saying, you, you, you would be horrified that they would put Christ to their uh, religion. I, I know that's what many of you are, are saying. Isn't God a God of love, love of, for all people? Does God love all people? <laughs> he laughs at my naivety and my brainwashing. <laughs> oh, the white man has right, man destroyed my mind. Even the question is so... I see a spirit of a white man doing this to your head. <laughs> <laughs> that, you're going like this. That's what's happening. But, you know, we didn't finish that verse. That all last right, verse. all right, Come all right, on. all right. Obadiah, verse 21. And saviors shall come up on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau, and the kingdom shall be the Lord's. Yes, you see that? Esau's going to be judged. And this is talking about the kingdom, because when Esau is judged, the kingdom is the Lord's. So this white man who has never paid for his crimes, never paid for his sins, oh, he will pay. Well, let me ask you. Mm -hmm. There are white people living now. Yes. Who did not participate in the slave trade. Like who? Who are progressive people. Who are people who... Liberal? Who deplore. Liberals, that's right. Liberal. Liberals who deplore mm. slave trade. Yes. Who deplore white supremacy. There are white people who okay. deplore white supremacy. Like Bernie who Sanders. Who deplore... Uh, Bernie Sanders. Other um, progressive. Ralph Nader. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and other mm -hmm. um, progressive leftists and so on. Uh, yes. Are you saying to me mm -hmm. that God, looking at the heart of those persons... Looking at your social activism on behalf of black people, when there was a civil rights struggle in your country, there were many white people, white progressives who were there, marching along with Martin Luther King and, and the others. Now, will they, will they be lost simply because you're born in the, la in, in, in the wrong race? Yes. Is that the kind of God you, you serve? Oh, let me ask you this. That's the kind of God you serve. Watch this. The prophet Daniel... Who will destroy them let me ask you. just because they happen to be born in let the wrong race. The, the prophet Daniel, Ezekiel... Were they righteous men? Yes. Did they go into captivity into Babylon? We mean they're going to. Did they go into captivity under Babylon? Yes. Yes. W but they were righteous, right? Yes. So watch this. Watch what you're saying. But they're going to be saved but watch spiritually. This. Watch this. Captivity is coming for all the nations. Yes. Your standpoint is not good white folks. I am not even I am not even objecting to the point of the of the captivity. Good. I am objecting to mm. your saying that they are going to be lost, that finally they won't be redeemed. So I'm not talking about the process through which they might go. Mm -hmm. Even if you are saying that the race must pay yes. for its sins. That's that's one um thing. I'm glad you agree with that. That's one thing. That's one hurdle. Yes. But to say that they'll be written off that salvation that Christ has secured for the world will mm. not be open to them. We're going to get on that. We're that gonna get is on something that. Else. But I want to go back to your friend, Bernie Sanders. Yes. Because these white liberals, these progressive yes. white thinkers, who you love, yes. watch I love what the, the progressive Bible calls white these liberals. Yes. Come Isaiah on. 32, verse 5. That's a good. Isaiah That's 32, good. verse 5. The vile person Talk about shall be no more called liberal. Wait, wait read it again. <laughs> the vile person. <laughs> Shall be no more called I can't liberal, believe this. This is nor the churl said to be bountiful. So the Bible calls these the liberals first. vile. So these they're, they're vile, filthy. I'm gonna give you an example. Oh, they asked gosh. Bernie Sanders, "What about reparations for the slaves, the descendants of the slave trade?" He said, "No, give them jobs." But Bernie Sanders, white liberal, fought for reparations for his people, so-called Jewish people, Jewish. the devil, as well as the Japanese who went into encampments. Oh, so he might have been five. inconsistent there. Oh, might be. Yeah, he's oh, very, so he's, he's inconsistent there. Yeah. And not just him, crooked Hillary yeah. did the same thing. They, they are inconsistent. And that wig wearing none of us Trump. Is, none of us is, is faultless. So the Bible calls them vile. You hear oh. what the Bible said? There was, give me, come on, come on, yeah. watch this. For the vile person will speak villainy. And his heart will work iniquity. You see that? To practice hypocrisy. Oh, hypocrisy. Come on. And to utter error against the Lord. And to utter error <laughs> against the Lord. To make empty the soul of the hungry. To make empty the soul of the hungry. That's us. We are the hungry. They're making us so empty. They don't give us nothing. Give them a job. Mm. That's sad as the world is ours. The world was made for our people. For our people? Our people. That's right. We must dominate. That's right. And the after Bible... Christ comes, we are going to dominate the races. That's right. And we will enforce God's laws upon all nations. There will never be a Christmas again. No never Christmas. be a Halloween. No Halloween. No, no Easter. No carnival. No carnival. Never. 
And whoever rebels against God, the dictatorship. Lord, that's right. Theocracy. For, we're going to force all the people to keep Sabbath and all these yeah, things. Zechariah tells you that. Zechariah chapter 14. Force them to that. keep feasts and all that. It says, whichever nation does not celebrate God's day. We have plagues upon them. Uh, see, you already know. This. You already know. You see, this, he's playing games here. This dude over here is playing games. A divine games. dictatorship. That's right. In righteousness. And you feel you're happy about that? I'm right? happy. I'm happy. Because our race will finally get the blessings we were meant to have. That we've never had. At the had. expense of others. Ah, that's right. When we came out of Egypt, God destroyed you're Egypt gonna for reverse, you. You're going to reverse the racism. God destroyed Egypt for you. Mm. He's going to destroy America and Britain for you. He's going to destroy America. For you. And, to he, save you. Give me Luke. Luke chapter 1, verse... See, most people... Here's the problem. The World Council of Churches, I'm sure you're yes. familiar with them, as well as the National Council of Churches. Yes. They meet every year. Yes. And they dictate how Scripture is to be interpreted. You can ask, how do all these churches talk about sowing a seed of faith? They all say the same garbage because in these meetings, they discuss these things. Mm -hmm. Watch Luke 171, please. Luke, you got it? Come on. Luke 1, verse 71, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. That's what salvation is, being saved from your enemies. We just read, uh, Mr. Ian Boyne, that your enemies would put yokes of iron upon your neck mm -hmm. until you've been destroyed. Your enemy. So it's not a fictitious, it's not a spirit in the sky. It's a real man that's your enemy who has just put yokes of iron on your neck, who hates your guts. But God is forgiving. Yeah, to God you. God forgives. God, for you. For you. What about those texts that I made mention Oh, yes, of? let's touch on those texts. The universal yes. scope yes, yes, of yes. God's salvation. Yes, let's get he that. He died for the world. Jesus died for the world. Yeah. Get John 3, 14. We're not sure the world now is, 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 is Israel, and the world is just a Jew. See, you already you're know these things. You're going to show me, though. Yeah, you're you going to show me that things. that is what, you know. You already All right, know. I give you the mm. chance. Let now, the people here, know. Yeah, yeah, let the people know. Let the uh. people know. Let Mutu hear it, too. Yeah, Mutu, you want yes, Mutu? Yes, yes, yes. Come on. Yeah, Mutu. <laughs> Come on. So Mutu run from you, eh? Well, Mutu doesn't want I, to, I, to I've to never met Mutu. I would like to meet him, but I've never met him. He's our people. I love Mutu. Yeah. Come on, brothers. Yeah, so tell me. John. Yeah. John 3, 14. John 3, verse 14. Mm -hmm. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so. even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Most Christians don't understand the context of what Christ is making reference to. Mm -hmm. As he speaks to a fellow Jew, Nicodemus, mm -hmm. the reference is Numbers 21. Watch this. Come Numbers on, read 21, quick. verse 7. Therefore, the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned, for we have spoken against the Lord and against thee. Pray unto the Lord that he take away the serpents from us. And Moses prayed for the people. And the Lord said unto Moses, Make thee a fiery serpent and set it upon a pole. And it shall come to pass that everyone that is bitten, when he looketh upon it, shall live. And Moses made a serpent of brass and put it upon a pole. And it came to pass that if a serpent had bitten any man, when he beheld the serpent of brass, he lived. So, uh, see that? So that's the context. Yeah, so, uh, so now oh, we go really back. So, yeah. Here we go back so to John 3, 14. John yeah. 3, 14. Keep it in context. Yeah, yeah. And as Moses lifted up the serpent mm -hmm. in the wilderness, mm. even so mm -hmm. must the Son of Man be lifted up. Yeah. Now, you seem well, well versed in English. Mm -hmm. So even so means the same way. Yes. Okay. All right. So as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness to who? Who did he lift it up to? All yeah. races? No. Who? Yeah, but come to John to 3, 60. Yes, to, yes. To, to who? Just yes. say the name. Yes. To who? Yes, to, 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 to the Hebrews. Ah, to the Israelites, yes. right? Yes, Now, come on. That whosoever believeth in him mm -hmm. should not perish, but have eternal life. So most people right there, they see the word whosoever, and because their education is not so broad, they go all races. But that does not mean so. Acts 2, 21. Acts 2, 21. Here you go. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord, shall be saved. Ye men of Israel, hear these words. You see that sort of world That's concept. the audience to whom he was speaking. That, who was Christ speaking to? No, 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 no. The fact that that was the audience to who whom was he was speaking, speaking to? does not take away from the universality of what was spoken. What was spoken. that word? Back up that word The again. universality. The universe. Do you just make words up? <laughs> Come on. Read on. These guys heads no, are watch this. Tough. Just watch this. John 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world. Uh -huh. Prejudice. That he gave his only begotten son. Yeah. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting whosoever life. Whosoever is whosoever. No, we just read. We explained the whosoever. So watch this. Here's a challenge for you. I got a challenge for what you. What about the text in Peter? Yeah. God is not willing that any should perish. Uh-huh. But that all should come to repentance. Yes. Acts 5.31. Here it goes right here. I'm going to explain it. Come on. 
Acts 5, 31. The book, of, repentance. the book of Acts, chapter 5 and verse 31. Him hath God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior, for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. We know the Bible doesn't contradict no, itself, it doesn't but contradict the itself. World Council of Churches has been established to teach you <laughs> and all these Christians to contradict Scripture. That's why I got to get the, the headbanger Scriptures. <laughs> so now, so now, again, where in the Bible did God say, I love the Philistines, I love the Edomites, I love the Moabites? And he the said Gerges. God loves all. Where? I, I, give, I give you a challenge. God where? loves all. Where? When, I, when we come back. We're good. There are, Jamaicans who, there are Jamaicans who believe this, uh, this stuff, you know. We're going to show you one of them. Uh, this is Religious Hard Talk. We'll take our final break. A Jamaican who embraces these radical views that you have heard espoused today on Religious Hard Talk. You know, we Jamaicans espouse anything. Um, all kinds of, of, um, of, of views coming out of... Uh, North America and, and various places. David Israel is a former Seventh-day Adventist who now has accepted the Israel United in Christ as being what? Representative of 2%? That's what you're saying now? Uh, good evening. First yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't mean to be my, my um, off-putting comments. <laughs> David, you know that's my style. You're in Jamaica, so you're accustomed to my um, uh, style. Of course. But, so you, you, you now accept... All that you heard your bishop um, say on this program? Yes. Uh, in fact, what the scripture says, mm -hmm. and with proof, uh, when you read in the book of Nehemiah 8 and 8, yeah. you know, being able to make sense of the scriptures, you know, that's what was lacking all through my uh, journey through Christianity, uh -huh. right? And I, I came, uh, it was my uncle who actually introduced this truth to me, right? And being able to... Uh, break down the scriptures, bring them to life, you understand, uh, be able to explain what is uh, happening in the world and use, using the Bible to, cor uh, to, to explain yeah. what is happening uh, in the world today. But right. before you could leave the Adventist church that teaches the love of God for all mankind, for all people, for all races, for all nationalities, how oh, you could leave that? for this that is preaching black supremacy and mm -hmm. the, the view that God will destroy all white people? Well, um, everything is proven biblically. You feel it right? as and, uh, Let me get the book of Acts yeah. uh, 5 and verse 29. And what because uh, all through Christianity, yes. right, um, the doctrines that, you know, the Christmas, mm -hmm. Right, not being able to teach, not being able to uh, identify who, because I'm reading the Bible. I'm, I'm reading the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. Mm -hmm. I've been reading about the Israelites. Yes. Who are the Israelites today? Mm -hmm. Right. And one thing that uh, struck my attention, right, and gave me the zeal to further research when I first heard about this, mm -hmm. uh, was that, you know, the Israelites, you know, being through slavery from. Uh, through the millennium, right? Mm -hmm. We were in Egypt, you yes. understand? We were in Babylon, uh, Persian and Medes, mm -hmm. right? And yet today another, uh, we are in a captivity uh, once again, right? Um, so, uh, yeah, get my yeah. Acts 5, verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey God rather than men. Yes, so the scripture said that we are to obey God rather than man, mm -hmm. right? What uh, the doctrines that uh, my fellow elder teaches yes. is the doctrines of the Bible. What I was learning in church is not from, uh, not from the Bible. Not from, not from the Bible. But you're learning the Adventist church, not was from the Bible. It was mainly white supremacy. White supremacy? Right. But you know that there are churches, though, David, that accept the view that Jesus was a black man. There are churches that accept that now, you know. That is not so radical anymore. They accept that Jesus was a, was a black man. Right. That rejects the white image of Christ that your bishop stomped on to the consternation of the, um, the, 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 the Christian um, system. So you didn't have to join a, a, an extremist group like this to accept your identity. There are churches that talk about the identity of black people, that talk about the importance of ethnicity, the importance of black people in the Bible. 
Well, you, you could have gone to that. Well, thank God. Or you, you could have even, you, you, you're indigenous Rastafari. You could have even gone to Rast Rastafari. Weed. You could have been a weed head. Uh, yeah. Listen, yeah. So, he uh, was following white supremacy, okay? Seventh-day Adventist was established by the white woman. Mm -hmm. A white woman, in fact, who hated black people. I LNG don't white. Know about that. Oh, you could Google it. I Google it. She, she hated people. black I people. Don't and know she that. is I know that. You know that. I sat down and re re researched her little I red ass behind. Excuse that. me. Yeah. So she's a demon. He came out of it. Thank the Lord. Just like those of our people in Jehovah Witness gotta come out of that Charles Taze Russell garbage. Yes. We must come out. So now, watch this. The kingdom of heaven. Whose names are on the gate of the kingdom of heaven? We ain't going to Revelation. No, I show me the 12 tribes. Uh, ah, give, give me that, give me that. We ain't going to Revelation. Give 20. That. You know that. <laughs> You're going in Revelation. No, oh, see, you already know. Read that. Yeah, the names. Yeah, That's right. the kingdom of God. Me. Come on. Re 21, 10, and 11. Revelation 21, verse, verse yes, 10. Yes, yes. Uh, and he carried me away in the spirit to a great city. I'm sorry, I'm reading again. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me the great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God. Having the glory of God and her light was like unto a stone, most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal, and had a wall great and high, and had twelve. So Israel will have a prominent place. That's right. In Watch the this. kingdom. Watch yes. This. And had a wall great and high, and had twelve gates, and at the gates twelve angels, and the names written thereon, which are the names of the twelve tribes right. of the children right. of Israel. Let me get to the prophecy, Matthew. Uh -huh. Yes. Go ahead. We. Deuteronomy 28 showed that we would have gone through slavery. Yes. We'd have gone through oppression. What is next to happen to us? Liberation through Christ or will there be something else, another form of slavery that we will go through, another tribulation that we'll go through before Christ establishes the kingdom? What's you understand what I'm saying? Yes, I understand. What's going to happen? Will there be, yes. What is going to happen before Christ makes Returns. his second coming? Is there going to be another There's going to be war between the nations. Yes. Okay? The European Union will crumble. Okay. okay? They will despise and fight against Babylon the Great, which is the United States of okay. America. Okay. And it will burn America with fire. So Europe, Europe is going to go to war yes. with, with America. America. Yes. Yeah. But in terms of us black people now, Will we go through another uh, kind of slavery, another uh, the tribulation that slavery was representative of? Give me Noah, Matthew 24. You know what I want? So, yeah. Christ, In other words, what will happen to us immediately before Christ returns? Mm -hmm. I'm going to show As you. a people, as a race. As a race. Yes. You know what I want, I think? Yes. Yeah. 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 Matthew 24. Come on. Yeah. As it was. Yeah. You got it for me? Yes. Verse 38. Matthew 24, verse 38. So the 37. 37. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also coming, the, the coming of the Son of Man be. So that's going to be the outcome. We're going to be carrying along like la -di da like you're doing now. Everything going all right. That's yeah, right. You know, war will be going carnival, on. Carnival, excitement, right. and so on. Then war will pop off. So we Missiles as a people, come. we as a people will not go through an ethnic kind of a persecution. No, no, no. That won't happen. No. Nope. So nope. How, how do you explain Daniel 12? Ah, Daniel 12 and verse 1. Yes, says, yes, yes. Daniel 12. There's a that. time to come at that time. Uh-huh. Shall arise Michael, the great prince who uh -huh. has charge of your people. This is talking about Hebrews. Mm -hmm. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never has been since there was that nation of Israel till that time. But at that time your people shall be delivered, everyone whose name shall be written. Yes. This prophesies uh -huh. that Israel is going to go through something... Mm, I'm a time of trouble such as never was. That means it is supposed to exceed. If we are the Israel, this should exceed slavery. This should exceed any horrors that we had gone through in our history. This is supposed to happen to whoever are the true Israelite people just before the return of of Christ mm -hmm. to the point that the archangel Michael will have to stand up for that people mm -hmm. called the true Hebrews. Yes. And you just said that what we are looking for is not a, something that will eclipse 
transatlantic slavery, mm -hmm. but a liberation through Christ. That's right. I'm going to explain it. But We're, this means, but the I'm true, the true Israelites mm -hmm. Which will is experience us. another Holocaust. No, I'm going to explain it to you. Revelation explain 11. Explain Daniel 12, 12, 1. I'm going to explain it. Well, I'm going to explain it with a precept that it says the same thing. Well, come you explain on, come that. On. Revelation 11, read quickly. If please. we are the true Israelites, then something else according to prophecy mm -hmm. is supposed to happen to us on a scale mm -hmm. that will surpass what happened in slavery. Just watch. All come, right. Come on. The book of Revelation chapter 11 so and verse 11. This one now. Yeah. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from God entered into them. That's us waking up again. This is what you see here. The spirit of That's life right, from two God. Witnesses. Waking up. This is, yeah, the two witnesses of the two kingdoms. Two, Come on. Yeah. And they stood upon their feet. That's what you see upon, now. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, a, and great fear fell upon them which, say, which saw them. Right, because Israel's going to come back together, Judah and Israel. Come on. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. This is what you call the rapture. Come up hither. Watch this. And you they ascended. Go ahead, read it again. And they ascended man, up to heaven in a cloud. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, which is a chariot. Here it comes. Yeah. And their enemies beheld Our them. Our enemies going to see us. Who's the enemies? The white man. Watch this. Verse 13. But you missed it. Come on, Daniel wait, wait, come on, come And on. the same hour. And the same hour, meaning uh -huh. the same time that we're taking up. Yeah. Was there a great earthquake. Meaning destruction. Right? And the tenth part of the city fell. Meaning the tenth part of the city is going to be destroyed. Mm -hmm. This is the great thing that Daniel's talking about, which shall never been since the world began. No, Normal this is saying Israel. This is saying the people of Israel. Uh -huh. The people of Israel are going to experience a time of horror and a time of persecution and a time. Where did you see persecution? That's what it means. What and there it? shall listen. There shall be a time of trouble, trouble uh -huh. for that people, not just read generally. This, read listen it, read to it, the man. Read it. There shall be a time of trouble, such. As, as never, never has was. been since there never was a nation uh -huh. till that time. But at that time, your people shall be delivered. What yes. it means is the people of Israel had gone through various captivities. Mm. They had gone through um, the, the destruction. They had gone through uh, captivity by the Assyrians, by the Babylon, by the Babylonians, and so on. This is prophesied that in the last days, they are going to go through something that would surpass that. Mr. Boyne. You don't have that. Mr. Boyne. If we are Mr. the people, Boyne. you don't have that in your prophetic Mr. Boyne. eschatology. Leave Bible interpretation to us. You don't have it. Uh, when you read Second Peter 3, it talks about the great fire that shall destroy everything. That's what this is, this talking, is about. talking about. This is not talking about everything. This is talking, talking about, about something specific to the nation of Israel. When you read Psalms 91, I got more precepts for you. Psalms 91. It says, a thousand shall fall at one side and ten thousand at your right hand. And neither that shall none come nigh to you. That's what but Revelation this is saying 11 the opposite. is talking about. This, this is saying the time of trouble is going to come. That's the time of trouble. And, and the people are going to be aided by the archangel Michael. Yes, we just read that in Revelation 11. Come up hither. Matthew 24, Christ says he sends forth his angels yes. to gather what, my what elect What will be that crisis corners. that will face war, black destruction. people? Can I, can yes, I you got it. something? Come on. Matthew 24, what war and watch destruction this, watch will be this. facing watch everybody, this. not the comes. nation as a whole. Watch watch this. This. Daniel 12, 1. Watch um, this. Matthew 24, verse 29. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light. And the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. Whoa. And then shall and then shall appear the son, the son of the son of man in heaven, and shall and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, mm. and they shall see the son of man coming in the clouds of heaven, with power and all great right, glory. We have run out of, and we have he run out of time, but we have given you the opportunity to expose. Your view was obnoxious uh, to many, <laughs> but I think in a free democratic society, we have to give people the freedom to express their offensive uh, views. Can All ideas must contain. Yes, give us where you yes, so, meet. Uh, we are located at 60A Manchester Road 60 in Mandeville. A right? yeah. Manchester Road in Mandeville. In Mandeville yeah. And you meet on when? Saturdays? Yeah, on Sabbath. Sabbaths, you, you're okay. still holding that. So they meet on Saturday, 60A, um, Manchester Avenue in, in Mandeville. You're not in Kingston yet. Manchester Road. In Manchester Road. Um, the Israel United in Christ. They're part of a movement 
called the Hebrew Israelite um, uh, movement on religious hard talk. We expose you to the wide variety of religious groups, religious expressions which exist. Next week, I'll be back. Until then, Ian Boyne wishing you a pleasant evening. Hello, I'm Eldon Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.